All right, so I, I see a majority of them you have noted, and I see that a majority of them are from the 12th standard. There are some from the 11th, and there are some who are pursuing graduation as well. Okay, but a majority are there from the 12th standard. So I'll focus myself to the 12th standard in case, uh, and also the 11th and 12th because that's the majority crowd that is there. But in case there is anything else that you want to ask, feel free to ask, and I'll be more than happy to answer. So I'll take it ahead now. So the next question that I have, guys, is what is your career objective? मतलब मैं पढ़ के क्या करना चाहता हूँ? What is my ultimate aim? So again, there is a slide of question here. Would request everyone. So if you see the question, would have updated, and you can have multiple choices in this case. It's not that a single answer is there. You can also take multiple things. What is your main career objective? Is it to earn money, job satisfaction, making a difference? uh autonomy innovation great yeah again uh, you can go there and we can vote i'll have a majority so up till now to sabko paisa kamana hai sabse zyada that's what i understand uh good all right great so uh, considering that majority of the people have voted so we have the two biggest answers which is wealth and job satisfaction okay so i, I will just discuss the points that are there in some detail okay i, I mean this is the easiest of the lot so i'll not be discussing this because this is something which is very easy to answer सबको पैसा चाहिए अल्टीमेटली योर करियर नीड्स टू अर्न गुड मनी ओके वॉट एवर यू चूज सो द रिमेनिंग ऑब्जेक्टिव गाइज दैट एव रिटर्न यूर कम अ लिटल लेटर ऑन ऑन योर ऑन योर जर्नी ओके अ लेटर ऑन ऑन योर करियर जर्नी वंस वेल्थ पीस थोड़ा सा सेटिस्फाई होने लगता है देन यू एंटर द सेकेंड केस विच वॉज द मोस्ट आंसर्ड वन विच इज जॉब सेटिस्फैक्शन बेसिकली आई शुड एंजॉय वॉट आई डू okay the work that i i am doing i should enjoy it okay after that comes the next thing which is there which is autonomy okay autonomy basically means how much say i have in the business or in the work matlab kal ud ke aisa to nahi ho raha hai na mera boss aake mere ko bol ke ja raha hai bas mere ko wohi karna hai so that is why generally you see as people progress in their careers they slowly steadily go on higher levels of management they are given more autonomy with that comes more responsibility but they are given more autonomy because dheere dheere once money and job satisfaction comes after that they want to say that maine itna seekha hai to i need to have some say my opinion should matter should be used for decision making okay fir aata hai am i doing something new every day okay or let's say every time okay and finally is my work having a difference to the society okay ye broad jo maine kiya is a general case after all it's human psychology there might be some people who would want to say i want autonomy first okay there might be some say i want to be innovative first but this is a general case everyone has the first basic goal is wealth paisa after that it is that i should enjoy what am i doing after that whatever i am doing i should have a say in it i should be basically agar main kuch kar raha hu to mera opinion ka matter hona chahiye main kuch i should be trying new on a continuous basis i should be innovating and finally whatever i do should also help the society should make a difference in the society okay so these are the major career objectives we feel that these career objectives with things how they have changed are very nicely achievable or very easily achievable in the following careers that we have discussed i'll just briefly discuss them and then i'll get into more detail okay so all these careers have got a great push also because of the pandemic ha huh, guys 
pandemic ki wajah se there has been a huge boost to these careers okay so the first two careers come from the automation theme okay so what has happened is everyone's working from home i had to make this session interactive so i had to google stuff i get to got to know about slido i had to take polls i had to make it interactive so there was a tool which was there which i used which was developed by someone okay so because of the entire automation theme and with the basically heavy flux of internet these two careers have got a great boost and they have a great future okay the remaining three careers have got a big boost because this was a crisis and every crisis highlights new risks up to pandemic as a word nobody had heard okay but now all those who had managed their risk well were able to weather this out so risk management careers quantitative careers and actuarial careers or actual science related careers have got a big boost because they manage risk well economics as a career got a boost because globally economic practices have changed a lot okay what was relevant earlier hasn't been relevant no longer okay so there has been great changes in economic practices the trade patterns across the gold are gold uh, globe are changing now we have a new policy which is china plus 1 okay they want a new china okay then uh, basically the entire concept of printing money and putting it across us has printed a huge amount of money in order to boost the prices during or to boost the economy during the pandemic and finally ye word to main sach bolu i got to know about this word only after the pandemic that there is a word which is called as epidemiology which basically which are doctors which study epidemics okay what we would be focusing on is basically these careers the one that i'm circled today okay and we'll be discussing them in quite detail i hope i'll be able to impress upon what the career means how you can pursue it and how we as iqs can help you achieve your goal okay so let's focus on our first career which is actuarial science okay so actuarial science i have brought up a small question and again it would be slide oh this time it's not a uh, it's not a question where you basically have to choose you have to type in who according to you is the best batsman of all time or the best cricket batsman of all time i hope everyone watches cricket though india a last two matches have been losing sadly yeah but who according to you is the best batsman of all time you have to type in the word and it will pop up here there is no poll so this time go on to slido and just type in whatever word you want or what are a batsman maybe which are batsman you like hey lel who's a footballer here yaar do i am also a big footballer fan football fan okay so everyone might be seeing a word cloud forming so more you bet on to basically the person and the more bigger his cloud would be or his voting would be so right now i see majorly sachin and virat don bradman sir don bradman not a lot of cricket fans i see yeah the polling is going a little slow i thought fata fata aa jayega ye time to 70 80 kids will directly jump on ishan kishan or virat kohli okay Oh, somebody started now voting for Lionel Messi. Brian Lara, okay. I'll wait for a majority of the polls to get completed. Lord Shardul Thakur, wow, is he even a batsman? Okay, all right. I'll take it ahead. 
so the purpose of asking the question was to just develop your analytical brain here the answer is not majorly important but what are the things that you considered with coming up with an answer was more important what did you look at did you look at a batting average did you look at number of scores did you look at most centuries did you look at highest scores if you had look at more centuries yeah then sachin would have been the best batsman if you had look at the batting average then virat would have been a good case or sir don bradman would have been a very good case if you were looking at run scored again sachin would have been the case would have been highest scores i think sevag would have been one of the best people because he's got one of the highest scores okay so uh, basically the analytics behind is very important so whenever you are posed with a question guys the first thing is you should ask in what context are you asking you are asking the best batsman is it in terms of average runs what, what, what is the parameter that you are looking at in order to uh, give that answer so basically the importance of this question was basically to understand the analytics or understand the thinking behind choosing the answer the answer in itself was not important but thinking behind in order to choose the answer was very very important and that that is what majorly actuaries do okay actuarial science is a career which focuses on risk management by these three things quantifying it predicting it and finally minimizing it okay how do you quantify a risk if i see a risk how do i quantify it how do i predict it and finally how do i ensure that i minimize it khali risk ढूंढना इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है रिस्क के अगेंस्ट मिटिगेशन टेक्निक्स भी इंपॉर्टेंट है सो हाउ डू आई देन मिटिगेट द रिस्क दैट आई हैव ऑब्जर्व ओके दे वर्क इन वेरियस इंडस्ट्रीज व्हिच इज लाइफ नॉन लाइफ पेंशंस ओके दीस थ्री इंडस्ट्रीज आर वेयर लॉ रिक्वायर्स एक्चुअली सो देयर इज अ लॉ व्हिच स्टेट्स दैट यू आर मैंडेटरी रिक्वायरिंग एक्चुअली द रिमेनिंग इंडस्ट्रीज दैट आई सी व्हिच इज एंटरप्राइज रिस्क मैनेजमेंट इन्वेस्टमेंट डेटा हेल्थ are all insurance uh, or all other techniques okay they are one of the best jobs uh, that you look at there are right now i mean number of actuaries are even lesser than the number of tigers in india so there are only around 500 or actuaries max 460 is the more accurate number till last year but there are around 500 or actuaries in india okay so it's it's a stream which which is very heavily focused on managing risk using data okay i'll give you a good example uh, okay so this is the number of actuaries that is there india right now has 460 if you look at us it's almost 31000 actuaries uk is around 15000 actuaries okay so even uh, spain has a higher number of actuaries than india singapore has a higher number of actuaries so we see a great potential about the application of this particular domain okay in the uh, uh, in the space okay because of the way things are growing i have taken up a small example here i hope everyone knows him yeah he is one of the richest guys in the world Yeah. Elon Musk. So uh, he came up with a very very interesting problem, okay, and which is one I mean one worth worthy of a very nice discussion, okay. So typically, अगर मैं car insurance लेने जाता हूँ, if I go for a car insurance, these are the factors that are considered. What is the probability of crash? Age and gender. So typically, if you are young, you have a rash driving. If you are old, you generally have better driving. Your driving history. your marital status the capacity of vehicle the life of the vehicle ye sab parameters were being used in order to come up with the car insurance and comes elon musk comes tesla he says boss my age and gender of the driver uh driving history is not relevant my car drives on its own so tomorrow he came up with a very good question if tomorrow there is an accident who is to be blamed is it the driver of the car or is it the software plus he also came up that because uh, people are using my car and we have a connected tech 
the usage of the car or his history is captured very beautifully in the tesla software so he should be able to give up a better premium and that's when he started tesla insurance so a lot a very very few people know about this that tesla also has an insurance arm okay and they are designing new and new policies in order to come up with this risk and how do you price such risk so one is you quantify risk how do you price it and finally how as actuaries we can minimize such risks okay we then go on to the next career that we are focusing on which is data okay now this career guys as such is i will say all pervasive okay matlab this as a career is applicable across all industries what has happened is what has happened is because of the usage of automation and internet in such a high scale there is a huge demand of people who can use this data to the benefit okay now uh, we are working across with a lot of organizations even small it's not that it's only large even small organizations now want data into their pictures okay so even now data science has entered each and every domain as such and each and every work culture as such okay so these guys are professionals who basically try to make sense of data and i i i'll be very honest this is a very very difficult task because we work in the insurance domain in this areas and we have to spend a huge amount of time when we have huge amounts of data in order to ensure that we bring some value out of it okay so it's a very very important domain as such so I, what i've done is i've collated a small video guys enough of me talking a lot uh, i've collated a small video uh, i'll just play that beautiful example of how uh, cadbury used data science in order to promote ads yeah this is the, the what they call it this is not just a cadbury ad yeah i'll just play the video big businesses and brands that suffered during the pandemic found their way back but the smaller stores still suffer this lockdown has been a real tough phase of my life i mean i have seen bad days but this was the worst last year we helped small businesses through diwali so this year we decided to bring it back presenting not just a cadbury ad this diwali we helped hundreds of small businesses by making india's biggest brand ambassador be their brand ambassador इस दिवाली आप भी ना अपने पास वाले फैशन ऑफ एम्पोरियम से ही कपड़ों की शॉपिंग करना और फिर एम्पायर फुटवेयर नाम तो सुना होगा ना अपना स्टाइलिश चश्मा बगल वाले हेवन आई ऑप्टिशन से ही लेना सिद्धि विनायक इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स से लेटेस्ट स्मार्टफोन खरीदकर धमाकेदार सेल्फी पोस्ट करना क्या कर रहे हो मीठा लाए कि नहीं लाए हो ना यार अपने पास वाले रोशन किराना से We used machine learning to recreate Shah Rukh Khan's face and voice to take the local store names in the ads. This Diwali, you have to buy from the choice of fashion. Se hi, the brocade shopping. Karna. Past Diwali, today's fashion. Se hi, royal fashion. Se hi, N K clothes. Se hi, past Diwali luxury collection. Se hi, the brocade shopping. Karna. This Diwali, you have to buy from the choice of fashion. Different versions of the same ad with local store names were targeted as per the pin. code of the viewer showing them only the nearby stores but it is impossible to cover all the stores so we gave the power to the people to create their own version of not just a cadbury ad any small business owner could promote their stores through their own social media networks like whatsapp forwards and other social media pages <laughs> ब्यूटिफुली डन they did it last year as well you can you can look at the last year video as well last year they did not do it as complex last year only the name was coming different this year they entirely modified the face and they used it 
so this is a beautiful application of data science in the field of uh, in the field of marketing we come to the last career as such that we would be focusing on which is quant finance so quant finance are typically financial engineers okay and and i i am being very honest here there is a big demand of people who can understand complex mathematics at the same time can work on financial stuff okay so these guys uh, are employed heavily by the stock markets the derivative exchanges and investment bankers okay so they are heavily employed there because they use complex models in order to predict the prices and in order to minimize risk and try to make profit okay a very very uh, complex career as such and very very demanding one but there has been again a big boom because what has happened is even the stock markets have gone digital okay so right now um, I, I i remember when i had become a chartered accountant we used to sit on computers and we used to pro, uh, we used to do trades okay and usme ek bande ne plus ki jagah minus kar diya na it's it's end of story okay those so plus is for buy minus is for sell but uh, now you can just simply program a beautiful trade and put it on you can do it in very easily in some simple apps as well the buy and sell orders are automatically executed and you can easily do stuff so there is a big demand of people who understand this and who are able to exploit this to the maximum advantage so the code is making the trading decisions these days okay there is a good example that we had done which is of iln fs okay it's one of the biggest fiascos of something which is called as alm right now uh it, it's a complex term which is called as asset liability management okay it's one of the biggest uh errors as such it's a 91000 crore default that happened it's one of the largest in india okay so what had happened is ilfs the name stands for infrastructure leasing and finance services so it was a company which used to finance road assets but ye paisa kahan se lata tha they used to borrow it from the market but they used to borrow it for one year two years and they used to invest in roads roads were eight ten years and all such large infrastructure projects okay they kept on doing it because initially kya hota tha wo one year aaya then they used to refinance it again aaya again refinance it again aaya again refinance it one fine day because of some reason the mutual fund industry or the investors said that boss we don't refinance we want money back and that's when their entire basically house fall apart and uh, there was a big default it, the, the default is still going on in the in case you follow uh, uday kotak has been now appointed the chairman of uh, kotak mahindra bank has now been appointed in order to ensure that there is a smooth recovery and it's one of the largest defaults that happened beautiful study in case you get interested in it go through it these are some of the risks that uh, us as risk management quant finance professionals we manage we ensure that if we are buying an asset we are liability is also match so if i'm buying a car right now i will not buy a car with a one year loan i will buy a car with a five year or seven year loan okay it's it's as simple as that but when the numbers magnify in magnitude sometimes decisions go wrong and you are not able to understand it so uh, where does iqs come in so we try to bridge the gap that is there between an education and basically a career path that you have we were established in 2018 and we work in association with uh, the patkar vadde college which is a college affiliated with the university of mumbai and we offer a bsc program in actuarial science and quantitative finance okay so it's a 3 year full time program it is offered by the university of mumbai it has global recognition because the degree comes from the university of mumbai the campus is located at uh, andheri itself okay and uh, it has complete recognition globally because as i am repeating myself but the you know, uh, the degree comes from university of mumbai it's a 3 year full time program it's a 3 year bachelor full time program it is the only program which has been accredited by the ifoa which basically is the institute and faculty of actuaries it's the only program in india to get this accreditation so you can while doing this program if you score well in the program which is greater than around 60 to 70% you uh, i have a very good chance of getting an exemption okay so it's a program in case you score well in the program 
uh, you get a good chance of getting an exemption of six actuarial papers. So in case you want to pursue actuary, uh, actuaries, there are 13 papers. If you do the program and you score well in the program, six of them are done and you get an exemption from the six actuarial papers. Okay. Plus you are a part of the network and community, which is recognized with more than 160 countries all over the world because IFOA has a very large and a global recognition as such. Sir, um, yeah, uh, what was the condition that uh, we are exempted from six papers? So, uh, South Asia may logo ko pata nahi hai kya kya career ke baare mein. Okay, I, I, I'll come to it. Um, so what is the condition you need to score more than, so passing for the university is 40%. If you score more than 60 to 70%. Broadly, the reason I'm giving a range because uh, the uh, exemption mark is given by the actual uh, the board after evaluating the difficulty of the paper and the checking. So they give an exemption mark based on which you get exemptions. But the broad range is 60 to 70. So uh, let's say if you score more than 60 to 70 percent in the exams, you are uh, eligible for exemptions. Okay. Apart from that, we have a dedicated placement cell which works around right now, uh, the second year, which which uh, basically the students which are coming the third year, all all 19 of them have been placed with internships Okay, across various industries that are there. They would be having their placement sessions that would be beginning from as early as next week. We have four to five companies lined up which are going to be coming and we'll be taking interviews with them. It complements various professional qualifications. Actuarial science is one qualification that I already discussed. But in case anyone's interested in the quant finance piece, you can pursue CFA, you can pursue FRM, or you can pursue CAIA. CFA is a global US curriculum, which stands for Chartered Financial Analyst. FRM stands for Financial Risk Manager. Okay, so in case you want to pursue that, you can pursue that through the formal education system because a lot of the uh, objectives of those professional careers also overlap with the curriculum that we teach. There is a complete industry expert faculty that is there. So none of our or let's say majority of our faculties are coming from industry. To give you a very simple example, let's say if we have general insurance to be taught, it's a VP of a large general insurance company that comes and teaches them. Life insurance is to be taught, an actual manager of a large life insurance company comes and teaches them. As a part of the program, we have embedded throughout IT because we feel this is a skill which is required throughout. Otherwise, there will be a big redundancy as such because you need to know all the skills irrespective of the profession that you are in. We have tie up with certain international uh, institutes as well. And you will have large internship opportunities as well if you want to get into it. Yeah. So uh, the next question is who should be doing this program? I think a lot of you might be having this thought in your mind. Okay, the first thing is you should love mathematics and you should have an analytical brain. The second thing is you should enjoy this. So I will give an abbreviation for this. It's called as BFSI, which is banking, financial services and insurance. So you should like the financial services domain. So if maths and finance broadly interest you, the financial services domain, then you should dig deeper and get into such career options. Okay. Because you will be managing risk for such large organizations and you will be using this using certain sorts of data analytics, which is these two skill sets that are required. Broadly, these two are the major questions that everyone needs to ask themselves. Huh? Basically, do I like mathematics? Have I got the ability of mathematics? So I like mathematics, have an aptitude. And finally, I like the BFSI domain, which is banking, financial services and insurance as a domain. Broadly, the eligibility, uh, eligibility criteria, 10 plus 2 from any stream. Apart from that, we have an entrance test, okay, uh, which is based on math, stats and English. It's based on 11, 12th only. It will be a little on the complex side because majorly on the math, stats base only, but uh, we want to evaluate that you have a good math, stats skill. And we have a communication skill in the form of an interview. If you clear both of them, you would be eligible for admission. In case you have done any actuarial exam or cleared ASET, which is the Institute of Actuaries of India's entrance exam, you would be exempted from the criteria. You directly have to give uh, the interview and you would be eligible for uh, admission. Okay. 
So this is the criteria after 10 plus 2, you need to give an entrance test. You can you need to give an interview post which you are confirmed for the admissions that is there. <clears throat> I have done now the current mechanism because I think there was one question that had come across that what is the current mechanism of pursuing this? So in case you want to get into data, actuarial science or quant finance, okay? So typically data science professionals broadly do BSc statistics, mathematics or engineering. Along with that, they do various independent diploma programs or various online institutes that are there. Actuarial science, typically BCom, BFM, BBI, BSc statistics, and then they independently give exams for the II or the IFOA. Quant finance professionals again do commerce courses and give any of the uh, programs of the various institutes that are there. Okay, so this is how they study university separate and their professional qualification separate. We as a part found that uh, this approach had problems. First, it was no organized route. There was lack of studies through formal education because I was studying something else in my college and I was studying something else. And finally, I was applying the third thing. Second thing is whatever I was doing generally was unrecognized. Okay. So if I do some online courses or diploma courses, it's generally unrecognized as such. And whenever I want to go abroad and pursue further studies, these unrecognized things create major problems. There was no continuous study support for college issues. I had to go somewhere else for other issues. I had to go somewhere else. And finally, sometimes I need, I got lost. There was a lack of practical training, though I would be able to clear exams, but I was not in that conducive environment. Basically, everyone's trying to apply it practically. The practical people from industry are explaining stuff. And finally, because I was pursuing something on my own, employability was left up to me. I used to search for my set of jobs. Yeah, we tried to came up or come up with a solution to all these problems. The course that we offer is through the University of Mumbai. It supports all the professional courses that are there because of the exemption route that we have. There is a learning management system that we have deployed. All our sessions are recorded at any point of time. Any student wants to go and check it. It's available on the mobile app. You can go on. You can study everything. It's, it's available at the button. There are various sessions that are conducted with the students where the industry comes, the job oriented sessions come. There are projects that are given so that students are able to appreciate the practical learning. We, as a part of our program, have internships uh, that is there. So uh, the students get into internships and, uh, and are basically job ready with the in-house placement cells that are there. A quick comparison that we have done where we majorly focus on real life case studies, software learning, yeah, internships and curriculum. What we don't focus on is this. We don't focus on the management piece. We are broadly a technical program. We focus on the technical skills that are required. So we are heavily focused on the technical learning. We are not focused on the management oriented learning that maybe B, uh, maybe BMS uh, focuses on. Okay. So this is our broad strengths. We try to bring real life case studies. We have software as a part of the curriculum and we have internships and uh, opportunities that are there. We offer a choice of specialization. In year three, you have an option whether you want to go into quant finance, whether you want to go into actuarial science. Data is there throughout because data as a field affects everything. So it's there everywhere. Laddering options in case anyone here thinks of going abroad and doing it. You can do actual science courses abroad. You can go to UK. You can go to Canada. You can go to US. Yeah, I, we have put up some examples here because actual science may majorly a lot of people go to the UK. So these are the major ones, but you can go on to anywhere. Quantitative finance also, you can go into any of the areas that are there. You can go to Canada for any financial engineering, MSc in finance or even math ma mathematics of finance in Colombia or any of the universities there. Or if you are interested in the coding aspect of stuff, you can get into the data related fields that are there. You can get into applied data analytics. You can get into business analytics. You can get into data science because these three uh, are the careers that map to our curriculum. This is our current because many of you all might be having questions that what is our current student profile majorly right now it's a good split between commerce and science 
almost an equal split between commerce and science okay in terms of outstation students uh, so there are around 40% of students who are coming from outstation there are 2 to 3% of the students coming from outside india as well majority of the students are based out of mumbai okay in terms of the board split as well majority of the students come from the hse which is a local maharashtra board there are a good amount of students coming from the cbsc board which is the national board isc and ib level students are also there okay and the male female ratio is quite balanced so in all uh, it's 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 quite a balanced nature of class that 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 we have in terms of the entire split right now almost around 160 students are pursuing this program so this is split across all all those students that is there in terms of the entire uh, the entire industry connect the curriculum backing that we get we have the best people from industry coming and participating as a part of the program we have thomas sir who's a uh, uh, past md and chairman of lic of india one of the largest life insurance companies in india yeah He's across a lot of boards of various uh, insurance and uh, various other financial companies. Okay, so he comes from the life insurance background. Nilesh sir, I bet everyone here would be in the uh, investment industry would be knowing him. He's the managing director of Kota KMC. He comes from the finance domain. JV sir is a consulting actuary. He's an ex-appointed uh, actuary of ICICI Lombard. He comes from the general insurance domain. Okay, so this is life. This is general. This is finance and investment. And finally, Shavik Da comes from data. He is heading the Tata New Tata Digital space. Okay, he's the founding member of the Tata Digital app that is proposed to be launched. He's also done Tata Click and he's like XVP of Tata Industries. Okay. So he comes from the data space. So this is the entire breakup in terms of the uh, industry participation. In terms of other uh, participations, if you want anyone wants to go abroad anyone who is interested in the valuation or the financial services space rajesh comes from there and shiva sir comes from the cyber space because he's now a cyber security expert uh, he's an ex police commissioner of mumbai yeah so uh, all of this come in from the uh, other domains more so bringing the sanity to the board the functional members of the board in terms of the industry is what was there what i discussed earlier so all of the curriculum all of the industry backing comes with the help of such uh, such stalwarts in the industry which help us in order to ensure that our curriculum remains relevant throughout some of our industry sessions that we have done a lot of people that come from various industries and explain uh, the various applications in the industry yeah I've, we've just put down these names i mean these are a lot of head stalwarts from the industry we also have international people coming xavier low uh, dr vihao chu who had come who is the head of consulting at munich Re group some of our partnerships in terms of where our students are getting placed, students are getting placed in Marsh, Tata AIA, Deloitte, ACES, KNAV. Now we also have Kotak Life that is having a session with them. We have RSA, which is also having a, a lead uh, insurance company, which is having interviews. So there are a lot of insurance companies, consulting companies coming across and uh, getting the various placements that are done. I come to basically the end of it. I'll be open to questions now. Before I get into uh, questions that you guys have, there were some questions that came in in the form of a form. Okay, so the first thing is I will be discussing those set of questions. And after that, uh, I'll be answering the questions uh, that you guys have put up here. Okay, so the first question was benefit of doing the BSc ASQF as compared to traditional way. So the traditional way uh, I discussed, right? The traditional way is basically where you study something else at college, you study something else at uh, your university. Finally, you don't have the same blend. You don't have the same people coming. You have to search for your own jobs. Okay. So that is one big problem statement here. You study, which is relevant. The college studies and uh, professional studies are same. The people coming and talking are also from the relevant profession. The internships placements that you experience is also relevant. So I would say very, very important as such and very, very beneficial over the conventional method. Credible and reliable. Okay. In terms of credibility and reliability, I think the degree comes from the University of Mumbai. As such, this approach is new in India. 
the concept of doing an actuarial course is prevalent uh, or prevalent in the western world quite exhaustively okay so ye india mein naya naya aaya hai so that is why you are i mean asking this question so it's one of the most used ways abroad majorly abroad actuaries are uh, uh, students become actuaries by pursuing a degree education in this field and then doing the higher order papers on their own what are the tentative dates so the qat exam starts immediately after your 12th because of the entire covid situation that is there things are very fluid but uh, we would expect somewhere around march the covid uh, sorry the qat exams to be held sir in march our boards are there so immediately after your board so uh, viraj i don't know when the boards are and i would not guess right now with what things are going on the omicron variant but as soon as the board gets done whichever board gets done first cbsc hsc we immediately after that schedule it uh, schedule the qat exams because it's 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 online and it can be given uh, online itself uh minimum passing mark for iqs yes yes in the qat plus the person personal interview you should score above 50 overall you should get more than 50% marks in case you want to get some practice questions you can log in to the uh, iqs website we have uploaded some practice questions which is a compilation of the past year qat papers you can refer those and you can accordingly give the exams so that you are well prepared for the entrance test if you are good enough in your uh, so if your maths and stats is comfortable you are having a good amount of score in your 11 12 i will be able to say the maharashtra equivalent of it is let's say around 80ish if you are above 80ish in your maharashtra level uh, boards i i think cbsc is a little higher in terms of the difficulty that is there if you are above that i feel you will be able to manage the qat well and i am putting a caveat uh, in terms of online exam ni actual proper 80 marks out of 100 what is the cut off i think i have already answered that question uh, in order to get exemption is actuarial more in demand than data science or vice versa uh, data is a far more larger field uh, who ever asked that question it's far more larger field okay but but actuaries as such were the first data guys so broadly actuaries in order to solve their problems used to look at the insurance numbers only it is these days that ye concept hai na abhi sab jagah aa gaya because data is getting generated across each and every field that is there okay so uh, ideally data would be there in uh, larger demand as such because it's it's more applicable in other domains as well actuarial as such is applicable only in the bfsi domain up to what level do you think this course can compete with iit m bsc degree in data science in the data science domain manav uh, i mean ideally comparing it uh, as such with a separate stream is not ideal but if you are interested in the financial services domain so data science is a more broader domain okay if you are interested in the financial services domain i would say uh, it would be better that you pursue this because in terms of the application in terms of uh, the entire uh, process the experience that we give is one of the best in terms of the entire data, uh, uh, data science application in the financial services so if you are interested in finance i would uh, be wanting uh, you to take up this this would be far better if you are if you are interested in the generic coding aspect of things then uh, uh, a data science degree would be more preferable because we focus on coding from the application in the bfsi domain have i answered all the questions uh, in case i haven't uh, i'll just i'm just going behind please share this ppt okay uh, the session is being recorded hasan uh, you will be having this um, available on youtube and everywhere so i i think you can at any point of time want to refer can refer it yeah anyone has any further questions they want to put up i'm more than happy to answer yeah nirav you raised your hand you can go ahead yeah nirav go ahead 
Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. I am right now in my final year of uh, BCom, major in banking and insurance. I wanted mm -hmm. to ask that whether your uh, MSc in actual science program, there is a uh, postgraduate program, uh, does it grant exemption like you are saying uh, the BSc one does? No, the MSc one is not yet recognized for exemptions. It is only the bachelor okay, one sir. that is right now ex recognized for exemptions. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. We go and Viraj. Sir, uh, in financial services, मतलब which jobs are there in financial services except for insurance companies? The बहुत बड़ा है रे insurance तो is the because of my, I have a मतलब I have a friend who who me he told majority of the actuaries work in insurance companies only. See the the point is statutorily actuaries in insurance में required है, okay? मतलब अगर law बोलता है वहाँ पे you need to have actuaries. Now if I talk about financial services, you have banks. Banking industry itself is way too large. Okay, mm. then you have uh, all the consulting companies that are there in financial services, all the brokers that are there, all the investment banks that are there. In investment, so the it is it useful in investment. So in investment, you compete. So वहाँ पे law नहीं बोलता है. तो वहाँ पे you will be competing with all those people who let's say have a good quant background. Let's say IITs, uh, all those all the okay. engineering background is where you can compete with. I, I'll be very honest. Kal hi one of my students called me up. She got an offer from uh, BNY Mellon, which is an American bank. उसने उसको hire किया था और let's say उसको offer letter दिया. She was contemplating whether to go or not. कल ही मैं उसके साथ बात कर रहा था. So uh, it's a BNY Mellon bank, which is a large one of the largest banks in the US. जिसने यहाँ पे hire करना चालू किया है in the actual team in the bank. So it's uh, equally applicable. So don't worry on that. And which is tough to do, data science or actual? अरे इट इज योर इंटरेस्ट वीरज सर सो नो कैलकुलस विल नॉट कम नो इफ कैलकुलस इज कैलकुलस अ पार्ट ऑफ मैथ्स दोनों में मैथ्स बहुत है सो कैलकुलस इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नो बिकॉज़ कैलकुलस इज आल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ बोथ ऑफ देम कैलकुलस इन फैक्ट इन डेटा इज आल्सो देयर क्वाइट हेवी ओके युगम यू कैन गो अहेड Sir, uh, I wanted to ask if there are some reference books which you can suggest for the QAT uh, entrance exam. It's purely based on your twelfth math only, twelfth math stats only. Uh, there would be some books that are there available on the login. Once you register, you will be getting those books and practice questions uh, onto the site. Uh, th that oh, would be enough. And your twelfth math would be enough. I am assuming okay. 12th maths. Uh, if Maharashtra board would be enough, there would be some things which are new, but 80% of it is quite similar to your 12th maths. So I study in the ISC board, so, so I think it will be more difficult than what your uh, Maharashtra board would be. So uh, would be possible. I I don't see a problem, Yuga. Okay. Just so practice you. more. So it will be an MCQ based exam, so you need to practice more. I guess none of you all have given MCQ based exams till now. so that is where you will have to practice a lot yes sir thank you so much yeah go ahead archana uh, good evening sir uh, sir i wanted to ask this acet exam when is it conducted and by which matlab um, the government of india conducts what is it like um, the university the acet no the acet exam is conducted by the institute of actuaries of india which okay. is the body established under the actuaries act 2006 okay Okay, so it's it's an exam which is conducted by the Institute of Actuaries of India. Right, right. Uh, so you just be associated, affiliated with the Mumbai University. You're not affiliated with any other university across India. No, we are just other... affiliated with the uh, Mumbai University. Okay. And which has got recognition from the IFOA UK. Okay. And uh, internationally, are you affiliated? Like, I mean, like if I want to study, I mean, uh, send my daughter there. UK or US is it a possibility okay. yeah 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 you can so basically the point is after doing her graduation she gets two things one is the degree from the uh, university of mumbai the second thing mm -hmm. is she would get exemptions from in case she is interested in the actual piece she mm -hmm. gets uh, exemptions from the ifoa ifoa is recognized in more than 160 countries including india okay 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 fine so when is that acet exam sir ASET exam is June December, which is con uh, conducted by the Institute of Actuaries. 
in case yeah. you want to appear for the iqa sentence test it's it's conducted post march and we have kept okay. it a little flexible because of covid uh, i think once the 12th exams are done then then we will have those exam dates put up but uh, obviously your exam would come before much before that is correct, so correct. i cannot really wait for it to happen correct that okay. is the same no? right, right okay got it sir thank you thanks a lot it was very informative like i've got my mind quite clear about it very nice course thanks a lot thank you thank you uh, dev yes sir i'm in uh, i'm a us citizen so i just want to know what is the process of um admission for foreign nationals is it, is it the same or is there some difference no so the the way mumbai uh, university you can get admission to is you go on to the website mu admission desk.org it's for international admissions you select uh, the course and you apply for it ideally uh, international uh, uh, students and uh, people from indian origin are not uh, required to give the entrance test but i would advise you to give the test just to check yourself out and you are not uh, required to give the test because the admission process is absolutely different for you all you directly come in from the international window route so just okay. go on to mu.admissiondesk.org and apply from there okay and is the fees different or is it the same yeah, the fees is different it's 1.5 times the normal fee okay thank you thank you uh miss elizabeth yeah good good evening sir i i am mm. calling from ua so i wanted to know about the cat exam in when i went to your website i saw that you have to register so when does that registration take place so typically when uh, as soon as you you can register even now uh, i think from february but the exams typically would be happening post the 12th exams that plus 2 equivalent here in india which is right now tentatively around march okay so i wanted to know like uh, if when we are in your course if we get admission and we are in your course can we uh, we'll have to again appear for the asset exam asset like exam. when we are doing your course the degree course during so, that time we have to appear for the asset exam so asset you are referring to the institute of actuaries of india one right yes 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 okay so in case you want uh, so basically you are not required to ideally if you pursue your uh, career from the uk institute uh, mm -hmm. directly you will be giving exemptions if if let's say you score well you will be getting exemptions from there so the first six papers which is the four principles will be exempt for you you don't have to give the indian institute exam you have to just focus on the uk institute exams okay okay thank okay. you sir yeah and i i feel uh, you come from the ua uh, the uk uh, the uk institute is more than recognized even there okay okay sir okay okay thank you uh, arundhati arundhati yes good evening sir uh, i understand that the qat is online so do i give it from home or do i need to go to a particular center no you give it from home but there are some uh things that we have kept in order to avoid uh, anyone uh, as such copying there is uh uh basically you will not be able to move your browser if you close your browser immediately you will be kicked out from the exam you will get one warning after that you will get kicked out from the exam you have to keep your cameras on uh then there are some hacks that we have made up in the entire thing you can give it from your home because right now getting a center and arranging all that is not possible due to the covid environment that is there all right and how about the number of attempts do we get multiple attempts or only one you get multiple attempts but arundhati i don't think uh, the it's an aptitude test it's not a competitive test the purpose of the test is just to ensure that you have the relevant match stats that is required so i i don't think in case you are scoring more than 80 in your 12th equivalent uh, match stats i don't see a problem any one of you should not be getting good marks in your qat all right thank you yeah uh, aditya good evening sir good sir, evening sir will the sir, sir will the semester paper exam the actuarial paper like do we have to sit for the actuarial paper also or only the semester paper will be enough 
only the semester paper will be enough i'll just make i'll just give you an idea of how the process works so what happens is uh the ifoa has put in couple of members as a part of our examination committee okay so once our semester exam papers are made it is reviewed by them if they find the level of difficulty low they will say to increase the level of difficulty so based on their feedbacks we finalize the set of papers post the conduct of the examination they also review how the papers have been checked whether they have been checked properly or not okay so in case they find some errors they would come to us and they would ask us questions on that okay so your semester exam only goes through a lot of iteration so it's not that paper bahut easy ho jayega sabko exemption mil jayega i don't have that in mind because you will have to put good amount of effort the quality of the exams are very very good you need to ensure that you put good amount of effort in order to get exemptions okay thank you sir thank you very much yeah uh kirti good evening sir sir i was uh, like what are the job opportunities like uh, if we pursue ifoa or iai what are the job opportunities which one is better um no in terms of job opportunities both are same ifo and ii are equally recognized so there is no change in the job opportunity uh, because of ii or ifo the so which one is better like which one should be pursued it be up to you whichever you find comfortable people find ifo a little easier in terms of their examinations but it it's not that way uh, that you should look at it's up to you wherever you want where, where you feel the only thing is ifoa will be a little sorry will be a little costly because you have to pay in pounds there is there is no other difference as such even the syllabus is the same study material that you search, uh, study for ifoa is the same as the study material that you study for iii also and what are the combinations we should uh, apply so that for giving exam You are talking about IQS course. You don't have to do anything. You have to go as per the examinations that are there. You just have to ensure that you score high marks. That's it. Don't have to do anything else. Just focus on one thing. Ensure that you score good marks in your uh, semester exams. If you score good marks in your semester exams, you will get the exemptions. And those exemptions are for IFOA or IEIE? IFOA. Yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Neha Yeah a good evening sir I wanted to ask whether um, so you have mentioned that the physical college is in Andheri but I believe it is in Goregaon itself right or do we have any other uh, location also in Mumbai No so uh, Goregaon is where the college is located uh, there is some uh, work I, if you go to the college there are some work going on there as well so we are uh, operating at Andheri and the so second question would be sir uh, along with the bsc could i also pursue iofa or uh, the institute of you know from india uh, parallelly or is it that only after completing it no no you can pursue it parallelly but there is no motive neha so the point is kyun karna unless you know for a fact that exam bahut kharab gaya college ka to bhi mereko pursue karna padega that's a separate case altogether but uh apart from that i don't see any other reason just focus on one thing ensure that you score well in that and then you are good to go okay okay so but i i, I mean i was not uh, you know i either off but i wanted to do both uh, so can we do both or is it this course is enough this course is enough only okay. if you score less then you will have to do the graduation plus uh, the exams oh okay all right okay thank you sir shami Shami, um, Sanika. Good evening, sir. Uh, mm-hmm. First of all, thank you so much for this session. It was really informative. Uh, so the only question I had was, ki where will be getting the QAT uh, reference papers, which you mentioned earlier? In the earlier. online itself, uh, you just register yourself for QAT. You will get some practice questions for Maths, Stats, English. Uh, which is a compilation of past year exams of QAT. And from uh, where do we register it? Go to the IQS website. Go to login there. You will be okay. prompted for a user ID password. Create your user ID password, and you will be eligible for it. Okay, okay. Thank you so much. Sir. Thank you. 
फाइनेंशियल असिस्टेंस दैट वी से the financial assistance scholarship is anywhere ranging from 10% to 40% depending upon the case that is presented so in case there is anyone here coming from any humble backgrounds can make their case to the committee uh, there is a committee that decides upon it uh, based on all the documents that are submitted and they give a scholarship the second is there is an ifos scholarship that you can get in case uh, that will give you exemptions from or uh, fees that ifos charges so what is the criteria that ifo gives that uh, so that, that is a merit based scholarship so that there is no financial assistance as such you just have to make a proper case okay second question sir do you really provide any placement facility for the students placement so, facility uh, so as a part of the program itself in the first year itself i think six of our students got placed in marsh two got in tata aia three got in acs consulting so uh, as a part of the program uh, we have multiple corporates that come across and take interviews so we would expect that a majority of our students would get placed through that in fact our placement is, season is being is starting from tuesday for okay, the last sir, is, it, is it is it internship or final placement both so this are the examples that i told you is of the internships now the final placement sessions would be starting from tuesday we already have 6 to 7 corporates lined up for uh, for uh, those placements okay thank you sir thank you so much thank you uh, mahi so i just want to ask ki uh, matlab what are what are your suggestions about the bsc degree in actuarial science colleges in mumbai particularly in mumbai bsc in actuarial science see uh, mahi uh, ideally i would ideally suggest you to go for uh for a program which has recognition so by virtue of us being recognized by the ifoa you get a great credibility as a part of the program you just appear for the exams you focus on one thing it's a holistic development that happens mahi so i don't have to go to college go to somewhere else and give separate exams if i go to one place study everything one place give one exam i am more focused waha pe jo opportunities ho gi student committees hoti hai placements hote hai industry talks hote hai everything relates to the domain that you want to get into so it's a better holistic development that i feel yes sir but matlab maine jitna dekha hai to bsc in actuarial science ke zyada colleges hai nahi aise to i am just thoda confused yeah 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 there are gin ke ek do only see it's a very niche field Yeah, I know that. So, इसलिए मैंने पूछा कि अगर कोई पर्टिकुलर मतलब बी एस सी इन एक्चुरियल साइंस की डिग्री हो तो ज्यादा अच्छा है बी एस सी एक्चुरियल साइंस की ही डिग्री है <laughs> अरे वैसे नहीं पर उसके लिए कॉलेज कौन सा इसलिए कॉलेज तो आइडियली राइट नाउ आई फील विद इन द मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी देर आर ओनली टू माही देर इज वन पाटकर कॉलेज एंड आई थिंक देर इज ठाकुर ओके सर थैंक यू जेनो Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. So, sir, I have gone through the official website of IIQS, and uh, the required topics for the QT exams are already mentioned in the website. So, I just wanted to ask if those topics are uh, enough to prepare myself for the entrance exam. Yeah, yeah. You will have to prepare based on those topics. We, you can go through the practice questions and prepare for those. I think what I do is. Uh, if hiral you are there you can just put up the uh, link for any specific uh, the brochure and in case you want any personalized one to one counseling as well uh, hiral will just put up a link you can just go on and register there as well in case you have very detailed questions and you want to ask we are more than happy uh, hiral if you could just put it up zeno so you will have to go through it it's it's important to go through those topics yeah and uh, i don't need to like uh, look out for other topics right like these topics are enough yeah yeah you will be asked from those topics only okay and uh, my second question is sir is there any hostel facility included along with the fee structure like you have mentioned no so uh, this is the tuition fees only the hostel fees as such for girls there is a dedicated hostel that is there within the college campus itself 
but uh, apart from that for boys uh, you can look around so andheri is a beautiful area with all the colleges being uh, near us only so all the best colleges in mumbai are very near to the campus location itself uh, i don't see a challenge for you to search for one but uh, for girls there is a dedicated girls hostel that is there okay sir uh, and sir uh, one more thing uh... like as you have mentioned that it is affiliated to, to patkar vaidya college so where do you have to go like uh, for like all the tuitions and all so patkar vaidya college ka hi campus premises hai ek aur at andheri we are doing it right now your exams are conducted at the college itself your admission will happen with everything at the college itself right now only lectures are being held there because of infrastructure issues okay 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 thank you sir and patkar college is like 10 minutes from the andheri center it's not even 10 minutes okay yeah uh ipsita uh, as of now no plan as we are trying with ii okay sir yeah. लेवल बहुत अच्छा है इन द प्रोग्राम आईडियली गो थ्रू इट जो भी कॉन्टेंट है आफ्टर दैट गो थ्रू योर लेवन ट्वेल्थ मैथ्स टेक्स फिर अगर आपको लगता है यू कैन गिव दी एग्जाम गो हेड एंड गिव दी एग्जाम इट विल बी अ गुड टेस्ट वेदर यू फील यू कैन डू इट और नॉट बट कोई भी इलेवन ट्वेल्थ का अच्छा मैथ्स का पीस इज वॉट यू हैव यू कैन गो थ्रू द टॉपिक्स आर फ्रॉम इलेवन ट्वेल्थ अभिजीत गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग so actually uh, you stated before that uh, one of your students got an offer from investment bank in us so if we want to pursue that track what should we do in total i mean along with this course along in going with this course what should we do in extra no so in case you are focused more so on the finance piece in the course itself go for quant finance as a elective in the year 3 and uh, complete the uh, relevant subjects after that as a part of the program itself we have two three consulting companies which come so deloitte comes and asis consulting which basically consult a lot of indian and us banks in this domain you can use them to ladder on to the various uh, other opportunities that are there okay uh, have i answered okay. abhijit uh So just one more uh, question that is there any other extra course that we need to do during this time like uh, just for uh, making ourselves as a count or aligning on us like uh, in being a count no 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 uh, uh, after your 12th you are referring to after your 12th you are referring right so between the course starting and the 12th yes sir no nothing as such okay sir thank you so much for the information sir thank you dwani yes sir good evening sir good i evening. wanted to ask uh, if we pass the first sem it uh, it is meant that we pass the first we are exempted for the first paper or all the three sems are all the three year is complete and then you are exempted from all the six papers so okay good question dwani you are exempted based on your marks depending upon paper to paper but exemption graduation pe hi milega so meaning one year kiya aur aap nikal gaye okay then exemption nahi milega but one year ke baad aapko pata chal jayega ki which all subjects mein you are getting exemptions okay and if okay. we Uh, if we score less marks in any of the sem we are not exempted from that paper right the ha ha you will not be exempted only from that paper ha huh? matlab it's not all or nothing so let's say mere ko teen mein acha aaya to teen mein exemption milega teen mein nahi char mein acha aaya to char mein milega do mein nahi 
Okay. It's not that thank it's not an all or nothing scenario. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Jainam? Yes, sir. So out of actual science and quantitative finance, is there any risk of being automated by AI? Ke AI has come, so its demand has come, and then they are given very less jobs or paid less. AI will create more jobs than take, Jainam. See, I'll give you a very good analogy. पहले है ना ये बहुत अच्छा analogy. What 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 part of India are you from, Jainam? So Mumbai. Okay. So I'll give you a good analogy of Delhi. Delhi में जब metro बन रहा था ना, तो वहाँ पे है ना बहुत सारे लोगों को रिक्शा वाले को लग रहा था कि हम लोग का काम खराब हो जाएगा. Okay. In the last ten years, there are more autos in Delhi than there were before, and all of them have enough place. So the purpose of the analogy was there will be more jobs that will be created than what are taken. So there will be more benefits because actually, as a domain, focuses on these areas. Okay, sir. Okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, Vidhi. Vidhi, go ahead. Satpreet. Uh, sir. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, I am actually studying in twelfth, and I am in commerce stream with uh, applied maths. So I wanted to ask that uh, will it uh, will the applied maths do? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yep, oh, yep, yep, yep. Not okay, a problem. Sir. Not a problem. So there is no need to study the other math. No. So what you can do is uh, apply math. Me calculus aata hai, sequence series aata hai, right? Yes, sir. Okay, that's enough. So you can just go through. Kuch ekada topic miss ho raha hoga. You can go through those topics, and in case those are required, just do it. But it's not that ke ekdam zero hai. मतलब you would be covering eighty to ninety percent. दस से बीस टका का खाली फर्क होगा. Okay, sir. Okay, thank you, sir. I believe I've answered majority of the questions. Uh, I'll take one last one, Kavita. Yes, sir. Sir, I wanted to ask after the A set and all exams, sir, pass uh, how many papers do we have to clear to become an actuary? So there are thirteen papers in all. Okay, in order to become an actuary, by doing this course, you get done with half of it. Let's say six, broadly half of it, uh, not exact half of it. So, can you explain uh, how the paper pattern works and things like that? Uh, I think for that you will register for the one-on-one -on -one counseling because every subject का paper pattern थोड़ा different है. It's not that के सबका same है. But it's a written exam. It's a sixty mark written exam in which you have to score more than sixty to sixty to seventy percent. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, sir. Uh, anjali which is recommended so for us everything is fine you can give your qat and uh, you can get it done i mean in case a set comes way too late let's not just wait for it that's it uh, sir go ahead zeno uh, sir actually i came to know about your program a bit late because uh, of lack of guidance uh, so i am in a gap year now and i mean I've I've completed my twelfth, so will I have a problem during the admission process, or it will be like I give the QAT exam and if I qualify, I get the admission. No, so uh, you uh, what did you say? What did you didn't do? You are in twelfth right now, na? No, no, sir. I have completed my twelfth. I am in a gap year now, so. A gap year? No, not a problem. You just have to clear uh, clear QAT. Okay, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. I hope I have answered. In case, guys, uh, no, there is no physics, there is no chem. Uh, could we have more info? Not how. Sorry, uh, uh, I, I missed out. Uh, I think if you want to know what are the subjects that are there uh, in the brochure itself, all the subjects are mentioned in detail. After that, if you feel you want to get into the depth of a subject, you can schedule a one-hour one counseling. We'll be more than happy to put across uh, what those subjects are under. There is no physics, there is no chemistry, there is broadly maths, there is accounts, there is finance, there is economics, and there is coding. These five things are there. 
कोडिंग में भी द कोडिंग विच इज यूज इन दिनेंशियल डोमेन सर वेर कैन वी गेट दैंपल पेपर फॉर क्यूएटी so you just register for it in which you will okay. get some learning material okay uh, there are some uh, questions that are compiled which are based on past year qat exams okay got it okay thank you all right i hope i have answered majority of the question in case i haven't feel free to put up uh, uh, hiral's already put up a link uh, you can click on that link we will be more than happy to solve it one on one and uh, the, there's a brochure as well in case anyone's interested on the subject aspect of the programs more detailed in terms of what is being taught and how it's been taught it's is there also there yeah great so i would be ending the session felt great thanks for being such a patient audience and thanks for listening out to me for almost one one and a half hour uh, i hope majority of your doubts have been solved in case they aren't we are more than happy to uh, solve it uh, commerce team so i'm, I'm sorry which integrated course what do you mean by an integrated course anjali you are talking 3 plus 2 no 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 you focus on the bsc actual science exam only no bcom no bba fezan uh, question in the personal interview will be knowing you tera hobbies kya hai what do you do thoda bahut technical hoga but majorly trying to gauge your communication skills it's not uh, rocket science hum log interview nahi matlab ye job nahi de rahe hum log khali ye samajh rahe hain ke whether you are able to communicate what you know yep yep shami ji it will be uploaded in a week's time one uh, question akash uh, in terms of the faculty how old is the faculty with the institute uh, you know they've been there for some time uh, how old is the institute if i've missed that uh, so it's it's 3 year old right now it's a young institute as such uh, but the faculties have been teaching have been a part of the industry for i mean i would say majority of the faculties would be 8 to 10 years into the industry and these this faculty has been associated with iqs for the last 3 years uh, i would say 80% of them some pe people would be rotating okay sir yeah dwani go ahead sir what are the college timings like hours morning oh. 7:30 to 11:30 and in some days it stretches to 1:30 okay and what are the recommended hours of self study good question uh i would ideally say at least 100 hours 60 to 100 hours per subject so there are five subjects roughly each semester okay thank you sir uh sir sorry to chip in but uh, since we stay in thane or somewhere far if sometimes we do not attend the lectures uh, will online lectures be available or something all, like all whether it was physical even before when it was physical all our lectures are recorded all our lectures are uploaded on uh, an lms that we maintain okay so at any point of time anyone misses does not get something it's readily available the lms is there also on the phone you can just look at the videos through the phone as well you can read, uh, refer the videos through the lms app as well okay so thank you and there must be some minimum uh, i mean uh, once ah, the is is 75% attendance yeah, yeah that is required so the lms or the recorded videos are only for cases where you cannot attend kuch problem hua kuch chhoot gaya you want to revise but that is not a proxy for attendance exactly thank you sir yeah great uh, i'll end the session now thanks a lot guys it was great interacting with everyone have a great weekend enjoy the weekend bye everyone you too sir thank you bye sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you sir